as you can check it out here i am getting right now 700 plus fps in fortnite after using this best fps booster tool on my pc in fortnite and guys also i'm recording my screen so you can expect 50 more fps out of my pc and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can get the same exact performance out of your any pc or laptop in fortnite so guys make sure to watch my this whole video don't forget to drop a like on this video and with wasting any time let's dive straight into it so in the very first step you need to download this tool on your pc link will be down in the description open up the link and it will take you onto my this website where you will find out the same thumbnail of my youtube video you are watching right now open up that article and download this tool on your pc or this optimizer so guys after downloading this tool here you will find out this kind of the interface of this tool now go for the system tab or the general tab and go for the optimized performance turn on the settings go for optimized network also turn on the settings go for disable error reporting turn it on disable compatibility assistant turn on the settings disable print services turn on the settings disable fact services also turn on the settings disable sticky key turn it on and disable the smart key also turn on the settings here now here is the over app settings which is disable office telemetry turn it on disable mozilla firefox telemetry disable google chrome telemetry and disable nvidia telemetry and the disable visual studio telemetry turn on all these options then here is the privacy turn on disable telemetry task disable media player sharing then disable home group disable smb v1 protocol and smb v2 protocol turn on the settings after that here is the uh, disk drive which is the disable system restore point disable prefetch disable hibernation disable ntfs time stamp and disable search so just go for disable super fetch and disable the hibernation once you turn on or follow my settings now go for the next step and that is windows 10 so go for windows 10 tab if you have windows 11 so it will show you windows 11 tab now here is the important settings you need to follow which is the system tab go for the disable my people then go for the disable tpm check disable sensor and services after that leave all the other settings now go for privacy and here is the disable telemetry services turn on it's most important then here is the disable cortana turn it on enhance privacy then disable start menu add disable it disable edge telemetry and disable the discover once you're done now here is the gaming turn on the gaming mode disable the xbox uh, live and the disable game bar once you're done now go for the next which is the windows update disable automatic windows update because we not want when we are playing game window is start updating its software or or drivers so go for the next which is the disable microsoft store updates disable insider services and exclude driver from updates after doing all of the settings now go for detach and here is the disable windows inc disable spell checking and disable cloud clipboard once you follow the settings now go for the next step and that is the startup now leave the third tab and go for the startup apps and from here guys you can simply check mark onto the application which you want to stop from running in the background on your windows startup so here is the one drive i have disable or check mark here now go for the steam go for the mz cpu accelerator once you select out here the program which you want to stop from running in the background simply select those application and go for the delete button and hit yes after deleting it now go for the cleaner tab simply skip this app section now here is the temporary files check mark here bsod mini dump check mark here and check mark on all these options once you're done now go for clean and this will clean all of this junk file from your pc after doing all of the settings important to restarting your pc for applying all of the settings now simply close out this tool so guys now the next step here is the game settings file which also you can download with the boost pack which you will download from the description link down there of my this video once you download this game settings now you need to simply right click here and copy this file from here now go for your window search percentage local app data percentage and open up this folder now scroll down and find out the Fortnite games folder save config windows client and simply paste it here and it plays the file destination once you follow the settings now close out it and now you need to one time restart your pc therefore all the changes will take effect and after that launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your pc i hope that you love it please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and let the next video peace out